The Green Bay Packers made Jordan Love one of the highest paid quarterbacks in NFL history. They have agreed to a new extension worth $220 million over four years with the $75 million signing bonus included. The biggest question that we all have about this move is, are the Green Bay Packers being fooled by one good half of a season of football? Last year, Jordan Love, his first two games was really impressive. But after those two performances, he was really rocky for the next two months. And then we get into November. He balls out on Thanksgiving against the Detroit Lions, then balls out against Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. And all of a sudden, this dude went from being one of the biggest question marks in the NFL to becoming a top five quarterback in the span of a half of a season. The first half of last year, he had 12 touchdowns to eight interceptions. After Thanksgiving, this dude threw 20 touchdowns, to only three interceptions, and he lit the Cowboys ass on the fire in the playoffs. He did America all a favor because now... Jordan Love has the Dallas Cowboys fan base in hibernation mode. And anytime you ball out the way Jordan Love did last year, you have to get paid. You see, it's not about how you start. It's about how you finish. And the real football season starts after Thanksgiving because after the Thanksgiving games, that's when we find out who the pretenders are versus who the actual contenders are. And that's the time of the year when the good teams start to separate themselves. And that's the time of the season where you expect your franchise quarterback to play their best football. Him becoming one of the highest paid quarterbacks in the league definitely is a little bit concerning to me. Not because we have a small sample size of Jordan Love playing at a high level, but just because of the same amount of money he's about to be making over these next couple of years. He's now tied for being the league's highest annually paid quarterback along with Joe Burrow and Trevor Lawrence. But in terms of if the Packers can trust Jordan Love to sustain the level of play that we saw the second half of last year into 2024, I don't think you have anything to worry about if you're a Cheeseheads fan. The Packers went from Brett Favre to Aaron Rodgers, and it seems now Jordan Love is in line to be their next great quarterback. When you are able to half the kind of performance that he had in the postseason against Dallas. And let's not forget how well he played for the first three quarters and a half against the 49ers. Let's be honest, you were watching that 49ers game and there was a good stretch of that matchup where you thought the Green Bay Packers were actually going to make it to the conference championship game and maybe the damn Super Bowl. Jordan Love was that good last year that there was some moments where You looked at Green Bay and you say, damn, they're a young team, but they got this young brother, Jordan Law, playing at a different level. And going into 2024, if I was ranking every quarterback in the NFL from best to worst, Jordan Love definitely would be no lower than top eight in the game. And as I said earlier, it doesn't matter if he got out to a slow start to last year. This was somebody who was given the keys for the first time in his career, although he has been on the Packers for a couple of years sitting behind Aaron Rodgers, there still is going to be some growing pains that comes with starting a quarterback his first time ever. So, of course, you were going to have some ups and downs. You were going to have some good performances like we saw earlier during the year. And then there was a bad stretch of football when he struggled against the Las Vegas Raiders, the Detroit Lions. But you want to see a young quarterback improve throughout the season. And Jordan Love, if they had a most improved player award, he definitely would have won it last year, especially with how drastically better he got week after week once we got into the most important months of the NFL. I understand that every game in the NFL matters, but during the stretch 
from late November to early January is really when you want to be playing your best football. And that's what we saw out of Jordan Love. I don't question if the Packers are going to continue to get elite level QB play out of Jordan Love. My question now is, are you going to be able to win the Super Bowl? If you're going to pay Jordan Love this kind of money, he has to be able to produce another Lombardi trophy for you, like we saw early during Aaron Rodgers' career. And with how well he played throughout the postseason, you definitely feel really good about the Green Bay Packers' chances to win it all this year. They're going to have an improved defense with the new defensive coordinator. And if their defense would have played better, in that playoff matchup against the 49ers, they possibly could have been in the conference championship game. Jordan Love now puts the Green Bay Packers in prime position to bring a title back to title town. The extension doesn't concern me from the standpoint of we don't know how good Jordan Love truly is. No, I believe that version of Jordan Love that we saw throw 20 touchdowns, only three interceptions after Thanksgiving, it's the Jordan Love that the Packers are about to get for the foreseeable future, barring any major injury. You don't have that kind of level of play during the most important part of the season without being a good quarterback. And there's not too many elite high-end quarterbacks in the NFC. So as long as Jordan Love continues to carry over this momentum that he built at the end of 2023, the Packers have a very great shot of being able to win the Super Bowl this year. And if he can win the Super Bowl in his first year after signing this mega extension, I mean, Green Bay, oh my goodness, you talk about one of the best franchises and the history of the game at being able to find great quarterbacks. Jordan Love, if he can get it done year one after that extension, there are probably going to be people that are going to be ready to put him above Aaron Rodgers. So I don't have an issue with the Jordan Love contract extension. Yes, making him one of the highest paid quarterbacks ever definitely is a little bit concerning since he doesn't have as much skin in the game compared to guys like Joe Burrow and Trevor Lawrence. But I look at this as a signing where if you didn't get it done now, he was only going to become more expensive later. If you think about what well, he's getting paid right now, $55 million a year, if he balls out again this year and you didn't have him locked up long term you possibly could have been paying him 60 or 65 million a year because i believe that jordan love truly has arrived and i don't have any doubts about him being able to sustain the level of play that we saw at the end of last year